All right, Treetop Town. You've got my number. I gotta, I gotta admit, we're playing a lot of Treetop Town. All right, Treetop Town. You've got my monkey friend. Okay, no, never mind. I got this. Monkey friend is rescued. They really want to make sure you know when to line that up. Like, they, there's a lot of tests in this level to make sure you know when to line the barrels up properly. I guess we'll go into the secret area again to get ten more bananas. Ten more bananas is one-tenth of a, of a free life, you know? That's not nothing. Okay, this one just doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so... Going to the right and coming back. Right there. Going to the right and coming right there. Perfect. Whoa! Roll them. Okay, so going up, like right there. Love it. Hope this one's not aiming at something off screen. Nah, they wouldn't do that to me. There, and there, and there. I wish I could get into a... Barrel cannon in real life. I think it'd be fun to be shot out of a barrel into a hole and just fall forever. I mean, it sounds boring, right? But think about it. Like, how stressful is your life? You're like your day-to-day -day existence, just having to worry about everything, like money and your kids and I don't know what else there is besides those two things. But like, it's stressful, right? But if you were just in a hole falling forever, you wouldn't worry about any of that stuff. You would just be in a hole falling forever. And I would be there with you, falling alongside you, viewer. There's going to be a lot in this Let's Play of me replaying the second half of stages. Just going to, not going to lie. That is just the nature of Monkey Dang Country. It is the Dang Country, and the monkeys are here. Uh, I think I might be... No, okay. Donkey Gate is gone. But he's with us in our hearts. Alright, so there. There. Again. And again. No, I... Wow, that trajectory right over the G and right into the hole. Nothing but net. I don't think Diddy Kong wears a butt net. But my goodness. Yeah, come here, Donkey. Wait, why can't I? There we go. I guess they gotta be standing on the same level, perhaps? At least I'll get a one-up when I do the bonus game for the 13th time here. Alright. It's coming up from the bottom right there. Oh, yeah. Two more nanners, and I got a I got, a, I got a free man coming my way that I deserve, and I definitely earned it. Alright, once again, with feeling. The timing should be the same, it's just going right to left there. Just like this is. There it is. Yeah, they test you on this a lot. They really want to make sure that you have it. Don't... See what I almost did again? Getting a little tired of Treetop Town, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. 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 Here's the bird. Maybe we should line it up when the bird is, like, at the highest. Well, you know what? I didn't get... You know I can get that G. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Hopefully now we're at the end of the level, and we are. Oh, goodness. It's like a relief when you get to the end of the air. Like, I, I actually feel that little monkey dang dance they both do. Into the forest now. My rope left! Come back, rope. I didn't mean what I said. Uh. Okay. Beautiful. Didn't even need that rope. Screw that rope. Hate it. Boom. Hide here. We're going in this wall. 
No, no wall today. Okay, you're in the barrel. Can't take it with you. These guys jump really high, so I'm trying not to... I'm trying to time my jump so I don't run into theirs in a unfortunate way. I think if I take a hit on this rope, like technically I don't die because I've got both of my Kongs, but I think the rope will move on without me before the second Kong like gives me control. Which is pretty funny because you technically aren't supposed to die, but you will because you'll just fall in the hole. Oh no, you warp to the rope. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I did that on purpose to make sure that I understood how uh, taking damage interacts with ropes. It's definitely something I did on purpose and not something I did on accident because I'm bad at the game. Is it time for me to give a hint as to uh, my favorite Smash Brothers character that I like playing as? Let me think. What's a good hint that won't give it away immediately? Uh... Oh, okay, I've got a, I've got a, a decent... I, okay, so the character that I enjoy playing the most in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has a stage dedicated to them. I don't mean that, like, uh, there's a whole bunch of stages dedicated to the game series that they're from. I mean, they have a level that is just their level, and it's not associated with any other character in the game. Okay, I guess that's a pretty good hint. I mean, we could have a long discussion about what stages are associated with what characters. For example, like, the Princess Peach Castle stage. Is that Princess Peach's level? Because that stage was introduced in uh, Super Smash Bros. for 64, before Princess Peach was even playable in the series. And then when she did become playable, there was, like, a new version of the castle. But I think both versions are in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Which stage is Princess Peach? Is Princess Peach my favorite character? Is, am I trying to obfuscate the situation by talking about Princess Peach to put Princess Peach in your brain? Because I'm trying to make you second guess. Like, oh man, if I could mention Princess Peach 80 times in a row, people are going to think that she's my favorite. But she's not. Or she is, and I'm trying to make them think that. You can guess Princess Peach if you want. I'll give you guys another hint in, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll, I wanted to do it once per video, but I have no idea how long these videos are going to be. Or how long I've been playing. Or when my birthday is. I've forgotten. And I guess I'll try to think of another... Uh, uh, another clue. And when should I do the big reveal? Like, when should I reveal? The last video, right? Down! Trust the arrows. Trust the nanners. Oh, this one should be a little easier. There's only one of them. Is he going to do something silly? Like, get incredibly stupid fast? Or... He's speeding up a little bit, but... You gotta wait for me to be done blinking, too. So you can jump on him again. Just spit on a balloon, man. That's all I want. Oh, spit on a Rambi, fine. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll... Okay, I'll do that. When I get to the King K. Rule fight, that's when I will do the big reveal. And if you already know the answer, feel free to spoil it for everybody. I swore I would not buy a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then I bought it. I'm a big liar. I forget why I bought I didn't have a Switch when it came out. Like, that's a big part of it. Like, it's... Like a fox in the grape situation, it is easy to despise that which you cannot have. Uh, but so I didn't have a switch when Ultimate came out, so it was a moot point. But I did. Oh no, I'm gonna die! I'm, I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm. I'm not dead. Somehow, somehow, I'm alive. I don't deserve to be. I deserve to be absolutely monkey paste. You know how you go and you buy a jar of monkey pastes? A banana flavored meat spread and you spread it on toast for breakfast and then your wife divorces you happened to me okay the orangutan gang left look at this look what I found always go left oh never mind I wasted it I wasted my silver barrel All right, Danky man, let's go. Me and you, brother. Part of what I mean, there's a lot of reasons I like Donkey Kong Country 2 better, but part of it, it's first of all, it's a better collectathon. Like there are actual secrets hidden in each level, and there is 
a finite amount of secrets hidden in each level and it's easy to tell which levels you need to work on at any given time and go look for secrets. But also I like the characters more. I like playing as Diddy better in that game than this one. Uh, and you've got Dixie Kong, who I think is a fantastic character. I can't jump on the orangutan man? Fine. Because Dixie can fly and that's just great for a lot of reasons. And then you could do the team up jump. Like I just jumped off that ledge up there and tried to go into Dixie Kong fly because I'm just was talking about Dixie Kong and I miss her terribly. And her bubblegum styles. Why is she not playable in Super Smash Brothers? Seriously, I'm asking you. I'm not like asking rhetorically. I want you to answer the question. Why Nintendo? I know you're watching. You watch all my videos. I thought I was dead twice. I thought I fell in a hole here, and then I thought I fell in a hole downstairs. And in reality, everything was fine. I get that Donkey Kong Country is not like a flagship series. Like, maybe they're thinking like... I went up on this tree, actually. There's got to be something on this tree, right? Never mind, we're leaving the level. Like, maybe for like a B or C level series like Donkey Kong Country, you can't have three representatives that are super, uh... uh similar to each other. Let me out of here. Okay. Because they did add King K. Rule, finally. Can I be honest with you guys when it comes to Super Smash Brothers? I think it's hilarious when they add a character that nobody wanted. <laughs> I remember when they added uh, the Wii Fit Trainer. I thought that was an inspired choice. I loved it. And it happens a lot with like Fire Emblem characters and like new Pokemons. I love the Smash uh, fanboy community and how just mad they get about everything. Are right, we going up? No, we're, we're going banana words. I want bananas now. I do kind of hate how in the underwater levels in Donkey Kong Country games, the uh, there's just a lot of secrets just kind of arbitrarily hidden through walls that aren't solid. There's not even an NPC that tells you that walls are not solid in terrible English like there is in uh, my other favorite Donkey Kong Country game, which is The Legend of Zelda The Adventure of Link. You guys played that one? It's pretty good. I don't remember... Like, it, in every Donkey Kong game, like, one of the Kongs gets kidnapped, and I forget which one gets kidnapped in The Legend of Zelda The Adventure of Link, but one of them does, and then, like, the rest of them have to team up with Link and... fight King K. Ganon. Oh, I got pearled in the buttocks. A projectile from Clam City. Oh, I don't even get a DK barrel. All right, well now I know where he is. He's right there. Ah, oh, we're through. You are a you're a you're a tri shooter. That's a multitasking buddy. That's multitasking Mike, king of all clams. Look what happened to me again. I was trying to not go so low that the next clan got me, and I completely forgot about the previous clan. Alright, so we can go past this one. My man's a tri-shooter. Beware. Okay, let's stay against this wall, because the next one is right there. Okay, but he's pretty low. Going down is harder than going up, my dude. Okay, we're fine. Because you can't speed up going down. You can just change your horizontal position. I want Donkey in front, because he's much bigger. And he's more liable to get eaten by a shark. Yikes! Alright. Oh, the end. I'm an on. Oh, it's a quintuple disaster shooter. Oh, the pearls are coming from downtown. Let's get out of here. I feel like I didn't deserve that hit. That guy was a little off screen when he hit me. I thought I was safe up there by the roof. 
I told you, we're going to be playing the second half of a lot of stages repeatedly in this game. You didn't believe me. I don't lie that much. Come on. You can believe me. Okay, so we came down here. How close do I want to get? Right there. We're good. Yeah. Can I have my barrel, please? Thank you. Did someone play as Diddy Kong? Because he's smaller, and I think he's actually got less of a chance of being eaten by sharks. The screen doesn't scroll as quickly in some of these levels as I'd like. I like being in like the middle of the screen, and the Donkey Kong Country and these free-floating levels, you're kind of always past the midpoint of the screen, so it's more difficult to see what's going on. From downtown! Okay, so this guy, we want to stay in the middle of this screen then. Yeah. And down on the floor. Nope, there's a third one. They were straddled. Oh my goodness. Alright, my man. Alright, alright, alright. I'm an Ong. Okay, we good. We're out of there. Whew, the relief. And then Donkey Kong does his little dance. Wait, how come I couldn't just come up here from the bridge from below that I crossed to get to Bumblebee Rumble? And yeah, he's zigzagging now. Zigzag. That's all he does. He zigzags. And we try to preserve our barrels. Remember the bee boss in Donkey Kong Country 2 is much harder because you've got to fight him as the parrot. Who spits out these little... Uh, like, I don't know, cow pies or whatever they are. I didn't get stung once. I think I'm 3-0 and in Donkey Kong boss fights now. Shoutouts to Putty for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.